All right, that'll be fourteen ninety-seven. Drive right ahead. Logan, he wants a double Big Mac burger with a side and drink and a Happy Meal toy. Get it done, stop. Okay, Jake, I'm on it. Man from McDonald's. Banned from McDonald's. Logan, when were you gonna tell me we got this letter? We have been banned from McDonald's. Jake, just calm down. I knew about that letter. I wasn't gonna tell you because you're gonna react like this. React like this, Logan? This is the biggest deal we've ever had. Where are we gonna eat? We're banned from McDonald's, Logan. We're not banned from Wendy's. McDonald's. They banned us because of the pause challenge. With cheese? Pause. Jake, don't worry about it. We can just order from somewhere else. That's a brilliant idea, Logan. You're right. We can make our own McDonald's, our own box for McDonald's, and then we'll have unlimited McDonald's food. Why didn't I think of this myself? That's genius. That's not what I said at all. Okay, I'll start gathering the supplies. Meet me downstairs. We're building a box for McDonald's. Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? It's Papa Jake, and we're back with another video. And today, guys, we are going to be building our very own box for McDonald's. That's that's right. It's going to be box for McDonald's with all of the stuff that you would normally get in McDonald's, but in box for form. Guys, I'm talking drive-through. I'm talking play place. I want to have the Big Mac sauce inside our very own McDonald's, and maybe we can open it up for some customers so they can come and enjoy some of our delicious burgers, which might, in fact, be even better than the McDonald's burgers. But first things first, we need to grab our cardboard and start building this. Jake, this seems like a lot of trouble just for some McDonald's. Logan, that's not important right now. What's important right now is this place is a mess. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna go upstairs and play Fortnite. Logan, you are gonna clean this basement, and then we'll make some McDonald's. Jake, this whole thing was your idea. There's no way I'm cleaning this mess. All right, Logan, I didn't wanna have to do it, but then we're gonna have to activate mega clean mode. I've only done this once before. We are going to start cleaning in three, two, one, mega clean mode. Well, we officially cleaned up the entire basement, which means it is now time to build our box for McDonald's! Which I'm really excited about. This is also gonna be the car we're gonna use for the drive-thru, because it's exactly... Oh, oh. Jake, be careful. Oh, oh I'm, I'm really dizzy. All right, all right, but look. Shh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. She gets scared when Papa leaves. All right, well, now what we need to do is grab all of our cardboard and start laying out this box for McDonald's design, as well as make sure we have all of the ingredients we need to start cooking our food. All right, we got all of our cardboard here, sandwiched together like a good classic McDonald's sandwich. Uh, so now that we've got our building materials, I think it's time we lay this thing out and figure out the design, because the most important part of any McDonald's Logan is the play place. The only thing we're missing now is the tape. Right, right. Into the tape room we go. Donald's. Okay, McDonald's is red. Jake, we have no yellow tape. Oh, dude, I mean, you know what though, Logan? That's okay, because Papa Jake's McDonald's doesn't use yellow tape. We only use red tape, and maybe blue tape, some little bit of green tape, definitely some orange tape, and 100% pink tape. It's like all the colors, you can't lose. Also, Logan, I had an amazing idea. At first, I saw the plane over there. And I thought, why don't we make a plane that could fly above houses and drop McDonald's on people? Then I realized that idea was bad, so I came to my second idea. We already have a toy store. What if we use this toy store and transform it into our box for McDonald's? I mean, we'll have to fix it up a little bit, but it could be perfect. Oh, like a, a big home makeover. Exactly. Papa Jake's home makeover starting right now. I think the plan is to make it a two-story McDonald's. So I think the entrance will be here. We'll add a second story here and have a play place. We also need a drive through for people on the little go-karts. So drive through could be potentially back here. Yeah. All right, well, we just need to move this place out and of course renovate it because as of right now, it looks like a giant stepped on it. But other than that, I think this is gonna work. Call me Bob the Builder because I think we're about to start building. <laughs> All right, so this is stage one of our McDonald's box for it. Check out what we have so far. As you can see the side of the building, we have our McDonald's drive-thru where you'll drive around the corner, get your food in here. And then when you come across here, this is the main entrance of the McDonald's. As you can see, cash register there, 
restaurant right behind, and then you come up through here into the second oh, story. Oh, what's up, guys? The most important part of the entire McDonald's, the play place, and it's on the second story. That, that's why I'm up here, and we are about to put all of our ball pit balls into the ball pit over here. So this is actually the second story, and then you can slide down into the ball pit. So check this out, guys. Up here, you know, you come up here, you're playing around, and then there's this massive slide, which is actually kind of, kind of scary when you look at it from all the way up here. I don't, I don't know, maybe we'll have to send Logan down this. But let's get our ball pit balls ready and start filling this place up in three, two, one. Oh! We need some more balls. All right, guys, we got our next box full of our ball pit balls. Time to finalize this ball pit in three, two, one. Oh! Oh, dude, I gotta get in this thing. Here I go. Oh! Oh, you know Papa Jake loves this ball pit. Oh, man, it's so cozy. I'm just gonna sleep in here. All right, oh. Jake, Jake, we have so much building to do. Give me a burger. I'm gonna get my Big Mac inside nope, the ball not pit. It's time to eat McDonald's. Oh, I'm getting out of the ball pit. Uh-oh. Now you gotta climb back up to the second story. Well, that is a lot of fun. Maybe I should try to backflip into it. Uh. That might not be a good All right, idea. Maybe, maybe we don't backflip. Okay, okay. Well, we, we still got a lot more to build, guys. We still got to work on the kitchen, and we still have to do some final touches on this place, but this McDonald's is coming along, so we'll update you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it is officially the day, the time. Papa Jake's McDonald's is open for business. As you know, McDonald's has banned me from all of their restaurants, but that does not mean I could not make my own McDonald's. And that's what I've done. See, I've even got the sign. Look who's laughing now. Pop the Jake is. Ha 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 ha. But let's go inside, guys, and check out our amazing McDonald's. Guys, check it out. It's Papa Jake's McDonald's box for it. It oh. has everything you need or could want. Jake, it really, really smells like McDonald's in here. Dude, it does. The only problem is the ice cream machine is broken. That's not my fault. But we do have all of our stuff. And back in the kitchen, is where the secret magic happens. This is where we cook all of our food. So we've got the fryers here frying up some nice hot fresh fries. Over here, oh, it's a little hot here. Let's uh, let's flip these patties. Ooh, you can hear them sizzle, guys. That's how you know they're fresh and ready to be eaten. So these are getting cooked up here. We also have the window here for all the drive-through customers, so we can easily serve them whenever they come by. But I think everything's ready, man. We even have our play place all set up. So are you saying we're opening this to the public? We're open for business. Papa Jake's McDonald's is 100% open. Jake, I just realized, do you even have McDonald's permission to open up your own McDonald's? Logan, you don't need permission to open up a box for it. And I've already done all the health and safety checks. I mean, this is clean and safe and healthy. Look at this. Cardboard is one of the cleanest surfaces. These things are sizzling up. These are ready to be eaten. Oh, Logan? That our first customer? Guys, I think we have a customer at the front. Get, 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 get in position. Okay, I'll, I'll main the fries. Oh, sweet bros. I heard you guys open a McDonald's. Oh man, this is tight. Shika, shika. Yes, we are officially open for business. How can I help you, sir? All right, I was hoping to order some, like a burger. But I was thinking I could have like a triple Big Mac with fries inside. Triple patty with fries. Logan, we need to do a triple patty with fries right now. Stat, this man is hungry. Oh, you guys got a play place too? That's super tight. Yeah, we, we do have a play place. You're more than welcome to go check out the ball pit while we make your burger. Jake, we don't do them with fries. Logan, this man is hungry. We need to do them. Jake, tell him we can't do that. It's not on the menu. Hey, if you are doing fries inside, maybe this could change your mind. Yeah! Logan, put fries in the burger right now! Oh, okay, Jake, I'm on it, I'm on it! We'll have your burger ready for you very soon, sir. All right, let's see this burger. All right, triple burger. Okay. Logan, you're keeping it sanitary back there, right? Yep. 100% sanitary. All right, and that three patties with fries, all done just the way you want it. All right, sir, here is your triple burger with fries, just how you like it. Oh, thanks, bro. Ah, oh, chica chica, I love it. Hey, how's about I go eat this in the play place? Uh, uh yeah, yeah, go, go for it. Go, go enjoy the play place while you eat. All right. 
and sweet legit ball pit. All right, it's burger time in the ball pit. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tika, tika, this is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Scout, scout, here I come for my burger and fries. Drive-thru time. Oh, Jake, Jake, I hear someone coming through the drive-thru. We got a customer at the drive-thru? All right, let me get the headset on. Hi, welcome to Bob Jake's Donald's. How may I help you? I'd like a Happy Meal with extra fries and a drink. And don't forget about the toy. A Happy Meal? Well, we do just happen to have a bunch of Happy Meal toys here. Uh, we only got one, though. Well, one type of toy. It's Batman. I want a Batman toy. All right, that'll be $14.97. Drive right ahead. Logan, he wants a double Big Mac burger with a side of drink and a Happy Meal toy. Get it done, stat. Okay, Jake, I'm on it. Uh, one Happy Meal coming right up. Just like that. Easy does it. Come on. How's it going in there, Logan? Are we getting the man's Happy Meal ready? Jake, you're next to me. You can see. All right, we'll get get the burger in there. Don't forget the toys. One Happy Meal coming right up. Okay, that will be fourteen seventy nine. All right, I got it all here. Ten. Here's your Happy Meal. Oh, sweet. Thank you so much. Okay. You have a great day, Scoot Scoot. Whoopsie. Might have broke the restaurant, Scoot Scoot. What? All right, guys. Well, I guess that wraps up our first day of operating Papa Jake's McDonald's. And I have to say, we had an amazing day. I mean, okay, yeah, we only had two customers, but we got like $20 from the Scoot Scoot guy. And then the Chica Chica guy, well, he gave me $60,000. So, uh, I mean, in all, it was a great day. We're up $60,000 and $20. So not bad for our first day at running our McDonald's. We have found out some very important information. We had the mayor come and stay in our Boxford Hotel which as you can see is extremely luxurious. But while she's staying here, guys, we spied on her and we found out that the reason no one is allowed to eat junk food here in Box Fort City is because she is creating some sort of virus and the only cure for it is junk food. I know that sounds crazy, but it's facts. And so today me and Logan have come up with an amazing plan where we are going to deliver junk food to every citizen in Boxford City. We're going to create our very own food truck serving McDonald's to everyone in Boxford City, thus curing everyone. Now we're not entirely sure what this virus is or what our plans are, but I know one thing. If we can stop her and save Boxford City, we'll be the heroes Boxford City deserves. She's trapping people here and she's administering the virus to them. And I think the reason why we were not affected is because, well, we've been sneaking junk food. And we saw the mayor eating junk food last night. Exactly. Still up there. So while she's sleeping, guys, we're gonna sneak out and build a Boxford food truck so we can deliver food to everyone. And when she wakes up, hopefully the whole town will be cured. And you already know, if you're not a part of the squad, guys, make sure to smack that subscribe button and the bell button and join the hashtag squad. Hashtag squad! All right, Logan, let's head outside and see what we got to deal with. Oh, guys, don't leave me here. Wait for me. All right, guys, so now we are, of course, in Box Fort City. And as you can see, the city has grown quite large. I mean, we've got our bank. We've got our car dealership. We've got the police station. Logan, what are you doing? Jay, check this out. This is what we're going to put the food truck on. Logan, this is like a ginormous Tony Hawk skateboard. Well, careful, brother, careful. You're almost going to bump into the hospital. So if we can get our food truck built on top of this pallet, then it will be movable. But we still are going to need a way to drive it, Logan. You know, trucks aren't just four wheels. There's also an engine and a horn and windows and seats. All right, Logan, so what I'm thinking is we use this bad boy as our means of operating the food truck. Full power. Back this up there. Attach it to the back of that little skateboard you found. And then we'll be good. Oh, ah! Real smooth, Jake. Real smooth. See? We're fine. Now we just gotta put it in front of Jake. Maybe you'll let me drive that. Well, we've got the basis of this food truck, so now we need to get some cardboard and start building. Only problem is the store clerk, we're pretty sure, is working with the mayor. Which means we can't go ask him for cardboard. So I think the only way we're gonna be able to get enough cardboard for this, Logan, is to go full ninja. Oh, no! 
Okay. Jake, uh, you are gonna wake up the mayor. But let's grab some cardboard, grab some tape, and start building this thing. Okay, so while Jake's building our box for at McDonald's on wheels, I'm gonna hook up our little skateboard thing to the car. All right, and just like that, I think this is a top, so let's test it out. Well, while you've been working on the car system, I've been building our very own McDonald's box fort on wheels. Check this thing out. We got everything we need to serve customers while we're driving around. In here, I've got my entire cooking area. We've got our little deep fryer here for french fries. I've got our oven so I can cook our patties. Plates in case, you know, we want to be fancy and serve it on plates. We even have a real working drink dispenser that will dispense pop whenever we need it. And then customers just come up on here when we drive by them and purchase their McDonald's. Jake, this McDonald's is looking superb. Now all we need to do is put it on the car. I'm a little concerned, guys, whether or not this is gonna be able to pull me while I'm in it. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Why don't we hook it up to the car itself and see if it works all together? You gotta be fast, guys. We need to feed every single person in Boxford City. Oh yeah, check it out. Our box board on wheels. Looking pretty good. Guys, let's see if our McDonald's food truck works. Logan, put her in second gear. Oh, it's working. Oh, oh that crashed. Okay, all right. It's looking pretty good. Oh, we can successfully drive around the city with our uh, box for McDonald's. All we need to do is grab some food, get in here. Jake, there's not that much room to drive around yeah, Boxford City. Not that much room, Logan, but we're gonna have to do our best we can. We gotta be oh, more. Oh, maybe wild. we just get a microphone and start screaming, guys, get your McDonald's. But we could also do that, but it's not a food truck unless it can drive. Let's grab our McDonald's, throw it in there, start cooking up some nice, unhealthy junk food. All right, Jake, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready, dude. Let's get this box for truck in business. We got some burgers to sell. All right, guys, here we go. Pedal the floor. <laughs> Logan, stop here. I think we got our first customer. Oh, Jake, it's Schmickle. Oh, how's it going, Schmickle? Oh, what do you guys have here? We got the most unhealthy junk food you could possibly get. It's our Box Fort McDonald's. But there's no junk food in Box Fort City. I know, Schmeckle, but that's because a very, very bad person put that in place because they're trying to infect you. This is like medicine. Exactly. Don't worry. Get the fries going here in our deep fryer. Schmeckle, what can I get you? We got uh, chicken nuggets. We got burgers we got soda what do you want i'll take some fries and a burger all right fries and the burger coming right up Put the deep fryer going here it's still going here let's get your burger on the grill don't you worry schmeckle this is gonna be the nicest burger you ever had nice and unhealthy just like the mayor wants it burger coming up Definitely looks unhealthy. Fries coming up. All right, can I offer you a drink, Schmeckle? I'd love a drink. All right, time to get you some nice ice cold pop out of our dispenser. And there you go, Schmeckle. You got yourself a burger, fries, and a drink. Oh, thanks. How do you like it? I think it's working. Schmeckle, how do you feel? It tastes so good. I'm remembering things. My name's not Schmickle. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, you, might be, you might be shocked, but just don't worry, okay? Are you? I, I'm Papa Jake. The mayor had implanted a virus into you to make you forget who you are and where you are. We're saving you with this junk food. Don't tell everyone in the city that we've opened up the shop. Quickly, now. All right, Logan, well, let's move on to the next place. We got more customers to serve. Come on, let's go, let's go. All right, Jake, here we go. Okay, <laughs> Everyone, come get your McDonald's free of charge. Oh, it's you from the hospital. What's up? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You want yourself some free McDonald's? We got chicken nuggets, burgers, double burgers, triple burgers, fries. Uh, fries. I love whatever you got. All right, Logan, we got a double double coming up. Get those on the grill right now. These are gonna be sizzling hot. We've got the freshest beef cooked directly here in Boxport City. Let's get some chicken nuggets on the grill. Sizzling up these chicken nuggets. Double, double coming right up with chicken nuggets on top. There you go, sir. Now if that ain't the best hamburger you've ever seen, I don't know what you've seen. It looks so good. Yep, enjoy. Oh, that's the best burger I've ever had. Do you feel any different? Who are you guys? Where am I? 
It's okay, it's okay. It's just the reversal of the virus. You're part of an evil plot by an evil mayor to create a city controlled by a virus. Now, we don't know what it is, but all we know is that junk food is the antidote to the virus. You're gonna feel a little bit funny, but you're safe to go now. You can leave Box Fort City. Uh, what's going on? Another customer down. Let's keep going around Box Fort City and giving out this McDonald's. Uh, what are they doing? Wait. That's Papa Jake and Logan, and they're selling McDonald's in Boxport City! Oh, this is unacceptable! They're jeopardizing my entire plan! Yes, this is me. We have a big problem. Papa Jake and Logan are on to the plan, and they are selling McDonald's inside the city! They're curing everyone and ruining my plan! This! They're just not that easy to stop! Well, once I'm done with them, they will remember the Baroness as the last person to stop them from making box sports. I think it's time we release the zombies. It's too early! I don't care that it's too early, and I don't care that they're not ready! We need to stop them right now! Oh no! Guys! It's the mayor! Help! 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 Don't put me back in that machine! Thought you could run away from me now. On second thought, release the zombies. But I've also found Project ZD9. Alright, Logan, another successful delivery. Why don't we head on to the next place? Alright, here we go. In three... God, help me! Watch out! What do you mean, watch out? Jake, what do we do? Oh, he's carrying some extra ammunition underneath the deep fryer. Logan, catch! No, 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 no! He's ah! coming after us! Hey, you! Oh, yeah, that didn't do anything. Woo! Okay, Logan, try and make it to the police station. We can hold up in there. Ah! We gotta get in! Ah! Oh, Logan, this isn't good. The mayor sent one of her minions after us. This must have been what she's working on. Some sort of like robotic zombie. What do you see? Come here, guys. Is that really Phil? It sounded like it, but Jake, he's trapped inside a computer. Come here, guys. You're our friend. What did they do to you? I'm not friendly Phil anymore. Oh no, they changed him in some sort of way. That must be why they took his brain out. They're putting him in some sort of zombie body that they can control. That isn't friendly Phil anymore, Logan. We need to take him down. We can get through that door any second, Logan. This is gonna be our only shot. Three, two, one, fire! Nice, you got him! Poor creation! What have they done to you? You were so perfect. This will not be the last of the Baroness. You think it's safe to go out? I don't know. All right, come on. Let's make our move now. Oh no, wait, he's the mayor. Hey, stop right there! She's getting away! I don't know about you, Logan, but I think she might be right. I think this might not be the last time I see her. You actually went there? That is amazing. I Look know, at that. Right? Is that cheese on fire? That looks so good. Cheese is on fire. It's not that cool. I could make fire cheese right now if I wanted to. All he's doing is spending a bunch of money at stupid restaurants. You could have all of that right here at home. You didn't have to go to Miami, Logan. Jake, why are you so mad? I'm just telling the guys about my amazing trip to Miami I had this weekend. I ate at some of the best restaurants. I'm talking about sushi. Cheesy spaghetti that was burnt in a fire pit. A cheese. Burgers with truffle fries. Something you might not be familiar with because your diet is mainly McDonald's. Okay, my diet might consist mainly of McDonald's, but it's gotten me as strong as an ox. Plus, everyone knows sophisticated food is just McDonald's moved around in different pieces. At the end of the day, everything is a Big Mac. It's bread, meat, a little bit of lettuce, and some sauce on the side. Whether you slap a $300 label or a $3.99 label on it, it's just McDonald's. Oh, geez, I can't afford either of them. Jake, you see this bite that I I took right here. That one bite cost $20, Jake. $20? Yeah, and it was exquisite. Logan, it's people like you that feed into this kind of stuff. You are the problem.
problem. You know what? Just to prove you wrong, I bet you I could make my very own five-star McDonald's. Call it Lemmy Donnells. And serve dishes for $100 and we will sell out the whole kitchen. Well, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna need my help, Jake, because I know how to be a sophisticated person. Fine, then we'll work together as a team. Well, if we're gonna be a team, you know the team handshake. <laughs> Ten. Ten. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. But guys, not only do we have to get stuff to turn McDonald's food into five star food, fluff food, food, but we also need to get stuff to deck out our restaurant so we can look as fancy as possible. I don't know how much it is, but we could get real China. It's $800. Who goes out looking like that? Every nice restaurant needs breadsticks. Beef sauce. This is not sophisticated. You're not the food critic, okay? I'll let him decide. All of this stuff doesn't really make sense right now, but it will. You never know. Dollarama Pokemon cards could be fire. And take in, guys, our first dish. We're gonna charge more than all of this combined. Uh, Jake, why are we playing chess right now? We should really, you know, build the restaurant. Right after this Queen's Gambit. What? <laughs> All right, guys, so check it out. We now have all the stuff we need to build the world's most luxurious McDonald's. This needs to say that we've been like health certified. We haven't. So if you could print something out in here, you know, like I think most restaurants just do that. I don't think you understand what it takes to run a restaurant. Logan, I know how to run a restaurant, okay? Now, obviously we are gonna be ordering all of the food off the menu at the McDonald's and basically turning it into five-star gourmet food. But first, before we can even start working on our food, preparations of course we need to make the restaurant just you wait for what I have coming I want him to feel like he's in the wilderness like he's in a forest when you order my golden $1,000 McBurger you get a little presentation so I gotta practice we gotta stop and order the burger $1,000 burger this guy's rich everyone look at him okay so we're just doing some finishing touches to the restaurant before our food critic arrives we have tonight's menu lay mcdonald's all the dishes and i'm a little bit concerned jake doesn't really understand the whole concept of fine dining i'm trying to make this a luxury experience while jake is kind of doing some mad scientist stuff i don't know what he's planning on doing with this chocolate bunny if you know how to present it you can take this five dollar tub of ice cream and sell it for fifty dollars so we're gonna try a little experiment with a balloon and some dry ice i present to you Sir, your dessert <laughs> might not be fully ready. All right, guys, I think we found out how to deliver the ice cream. It's in the golden egg. Voila, your ice cream. Whoa, and that's like $45. What are you doing? Get the egg, it's gonna blow up. What do you mean? I don't know, I can't close a little too tight, I think. Is it leaking? No. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, there's, yeah. there's no air coming out of it. Jay. Guys, this is what it's all about when you're cooking in the kitchen. Sometimes things get really dangerous. If you guys didn't know, if you put dry ice in a closed container, it creates a lot of gas and an explosion. False alarm, we're good. <laughs> Okay, the egg has been disarmed. Guys, we need to go over tonight's menu. For starters, we have the Big Mac sauce stick, that's chicken you. nugget bomb. That's me. The one fry. That's me. Palate cleanser. That's, uh, oh, so after every single meal, he needs to cleanse his palate so he can get ready for the next meal. Check it out. We've got chicken sauce, beef sauce, and sriracha sauce, all of which should burn anything on his tongue right off. Did he cleanse the palate? Ah, yes. For our main course, we have the gold burger, Big Mac fries, Big Mac sushi roll, for dessert, McFlurry poppers, chocolate fondue. I can't wait to cover every piece of McDonald's in chocolate. What's going on in here? Bell! <laughs> There's a fire! Stop, drop, and roll! Bell, what are you doing? The fire is like 40 minutes ago. It's done! All right, yeah, bring the McDonald's through here. Keep it moving, guys. We got a busy night tonight. Don't let them see you like this. Oh, yeah. And this officially means we are open for business. Jake, what are you eating? Our guest is about to arrive any minute. Well, I gotta eat, Logan, if I'm gonna prepare food for other people to eat. Why are you eating from our restaurant? Our restaurant? That stuff's gonna kill me. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Logan, I think you bought the whole McDonald's, though. We really did. Look at all that McDonald's. Phil, you can't eat our produce. What do you mean, Logan? Look at all the McDonald's. It's for customers only. We can't eat all the food. 
For dessert, we have McFlurry Poppers. They're gonna be frozen little McFlurry bites. Leave a like on this video. Let's try and get 20,000 likes. If you think you'd actually eat here. Who wouldn't eat here, Logan? It's literally McDonald's. No, this is fancy McDonald's. Now we are going to pop our McFlurry Poppers inside the freezer. Definitely gonna need some Big Mac sauce over here for the consistency. Yeah, put it right in there. There we go. <laughs> There we go. That does look pretty nice. Perfect. Now they're injected with Big Mac sauce. Really? Gold plates? That's like $10 per sprinkle. The one fry. I don't think this is gonna work out very well. This is the lock box for what will be the golden Big Mac. It is one of the most expensive items on our menu. Presentation is absolutely beautiful. Where's the Big Macs? Wait, Jake, is that a double Big Mac? Oh, yes, it is, Phil. That's like $30 worth of gold. Oh, yeah, Phil. You no, know, rappers always talk about gold on their wrists. Now, this is gold in your tummy. It's even cooler. The Big Mac is ready. Oh, it my. is closed in here and locked up beautifully. We got the Big Mac sauce stick. The plating is the most important part. It didn't work the way I wanted to. Logan, those are our breadsticks. Let's go to first. Get it done. This is something I learned in cooking school. You might have got some bad advice in cooking school, Logan. It's <laughs> art. Honestly, I think it's coming along pretty well. That's a fancy play right there. So one of the things we're doing for dessert is we're going to have chocolate covered everything on the McDonald's menu. Now, first off, we got a melter chocolate. So I've got some dollar store chocolate here. No one has to know. The chef game, dude. I don't know if I can handle it. What do you mean? It's stressful. Dude, we're doing a good job. So far, the dishes are coming along. Every Everything's going well. Okay. Is the oven still on? There we go, guys. We've got the melted milk chocolate. Whoa. And when he cuts into it, le perfecte. That actually looks so fire. <laughs> this is gonna go right into the fridge so the chocolate will harden so we have something to cut into. But finally, we are going to sprinkle gold flakes. Not too much, but not too little. Voila. This will be the hardest dish of my night. The Big Mac sushi, which I have never made. I'm extremely nervous. We are going to deconstruct the Big Mac here. All the ingredients separate. Pickles, our lettuce, Big Mac sauce, our burger, cheese, and we can't forget about our french fries. Right now we're getting the Big Mac bun all toasty. Perfect texture. McDonald's at its finest. It actually tastes like really good. So when we present the golden egg, I'm going to make a line of fire around it. It's like fire and ice coming together. I don't want to be anywhere near this. Ryan Shield, bitch, Ryan Shield. Imagine the golden egg steaming with smoke from the ice. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we're going to work on it, but you get the idea. Gotta roll that tight. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Beautiful. Big Z, my hand's starting to burn. Big Z, get it on that plate. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah! Big Z. Oh no. I'm sorry. The Big Mac sushi roll it actually looks so good. Jake, there's just a few things on the menu we haven't cooked, but we're oh, almost no, no, no. there. Okay, we're gonna have to get these cooked real fast because he's gonna be here any second. We need to prove to this food. Jake! Yes? It's not any second, it's right now! He's here? He's here! Guys, listen to me. If we can fool this food critic and he actually think that this is thousands of dollars worth of food, then we have completed this challenge successfully. But if he suspects anything, then I was right and going out to restaurants is actually a better way to eat food. I was gonna say we might go to jail. I, I don't know what the copyright on McDonald's is. Mm -hmm. Please come Wait, in, come thank in. Thank you so much yes. for having me. Yes. Wow. Oh, there he is, dude. Dude, he's tall. I know. Apparently all food critics are tall. It's a known fact. Please, please, please. Be seated. Give me a big smile. Three, two, one. Say cheese. I have eaten at some of the finest restaurants all over the world. I expect that this food is going to be top of the notch. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll okay. be good. Yes. Thank you. For our starters, we have the Big Mac sauce stick. Big Z, are you sure that's what it's called? That's what the head chef wrote down. Are you sure it's called the Big Mac sauce stick? Big Mac sauce stick. 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 Like sticky. Got it. Uh, great. Well, okay. Let's go. Great. Jake, we have a problem. I can see the problem, Logan. I can see it right in front of me. Not only is this guy the real deal, yeah. but the food is turning green. Yeah, I, I think we might have been scammed, Logan. I don't think those are gold flakes. I think they're copper flakes because copper turns green and that is turning green. What's the Big Mac sauce sticks? These are yours. Take them out and explain how amazing they are and why they're worth Jake, $50. I can't do that. To, I know this is... Look at me. It may just be a bunch of dollar store stuff, but to them out there, it's expensive. It's fancy. Sell it. All right, right here we have the Big Mac sauce stick. Wow. How does it taste? 
interesting. What, why are these flakes green? Um, one second. Jake, he's wondering why the gold flakes are green. Oh, uh, well, sir. The gold flakes are green because green is the color of money, and uh, everything here is the utmost expensive, so we took traditional gold and infused it with dollar bills to make it even more expensive for your taste. I also have here a aged bottle of Sunny D. Recently, um, they did an excavation of Rome, and they found that uh, the Romans used to drink Sunny D a thousand years ago. So this is actually from uh, Caesars. Phil, that's enough water, Phil! Get out of here! This is the uh, Sunny D that uh, Julius Caesar himself drank from. Check it out, it lights up. It, <clears throat> it does also light up. Please enjoy as much of it as you would like. Uh, in fact, I don't think it's going that great. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Everyone just pull together, take a deep breath. I think it's going amazing. <sighs> no, it's not. Uh, is that thing on fire? I don't know. Get the sauce on, get the sauce on. That looks good. Where's the palate cleanser? Give him the sriracha, let's, let's really Jake, clean that you, palate. Jake, are you sure we're still going with the palate cleanser? Yes, we're still going with the palate cleanser. No. Fancy restaurants do it. What is going on with that noise? Yeah, get the riot shield out. Did you know he was in danger? No, 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 no. This is the chicken nugget bomb. Chicken nuggets infused with Big Mac sauce. And of course, gold sprinkled on top. You know, just so you can eat more money. Go, all right. So, uh, how are those, uh, nugget bombs? Um, interesting. Thank you. It was all going good in my head. I had it all planned out, and now it's not going like what it looked like in my head. He's not liking anything. Did he say something? His face, dude, he doesn't look happy. Okay, maybe when he's not looking, look at his notes. Take a look at them, see if he's written anything bad about us. Logan, Logan, go give this to him. It'll save the day. Give him the picture. All right, we have your complimentary photo. I'm just gonna place that right there so you can remember your experience at Le McDonald's. Let me do it this time. You guys are messing up everything. You guys, stay here. Don't make any noise. I'd like to present to you the third starting dish. Uh, this is called the Le One Fry. Wonderful. In traditional McDonald's fashion, you would have a large box of fries, all individually made. But we thought we would take a different approach to it and create one beautiful fry. It is seasoned, aged, everything you could want in your food. And uh, there is a candle here, so let me just... Oh, remarkable. Very popular on its people's Same birthdays. Same money-infused flakes, I see. Uh, more money-infused flakes, yes. All $100. Uh, American bills too. Impressive. Um, I think he's starting to turn around. What are you guys doing? Put that down, dude. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Bad. bad. I'm sorry. Bad. 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 No. That I is never see. I never see. I never see. The next dish is going to be a main course dish. <sighs> yes. That's the attitude I want. Now Logan is going to put on a show. Logan, you're doing your show. It's time. It's time. Okay. I'm going to paint you a painting that you can keep forever. There you go, only at Le McDonald's! Alright, and there it is, your own personal painting. Beautiful. Wow. It's not as good as I wanted it to be. You know what, Logan, you did your best. Logan, this is your creation, please. Bring it to him. I, I can't bring it to him. Why? I can't handle the pressure. I can't handle anymore. You have to do it, please. Go. Enjoy. You don't have to eat the whole thing, but this is a dish that we would charge seven hundred dollars for. Seven hundred dollars. You don't just eat around the bubbles. Uh, well. Okay, Logan. I know he's scary. I know he's tall. I know he's really good looking. But that shouldn't stop you from being the chef I know you are. So you take your Big Mac sushi, rolls out there, pick that up off the ground. It's fine, five second rule. And you make sure he eats every last bite. Also, maybe try and like, you know, get some info out of him. Like, how's he feeling? What's his vibe at? I can't tell, man. He's like a poker face. Don't touch my book. You're right. It's confidential information. Not touching book ever again. All right, now it's time for probably one of the most exquisite, my favorite meals of the night, the Sushi Big Mac. Mm. Is that a hair? A hair? Oh, no. I don't think so. Enjoy! Sir, I heard there might have been a hair. I just want to explain that any hair in the food actually is from uh, Rhino's. Very fancy, expensive hair. Enjoy, this is one of my favorite dishes. I take it home some nights and just eat it by myself in the bathroom. I love Rhino's. Thank you for what you're doing for me. Jake, rhino's heard in the making of that dish. Uh, the rhino that hair that you are eating, he is totally alive, not not dead. 
guys, this is the first dish I've seen him actually eat. There's already four sushi rolls gone. This is remarkable. Oh. Delicious. Can you make me some of these to go, please? Of course. Jake. Can't do it anymore, man. Wait, wait. I'm guys, exhausted. Guys, he's really enjoying it. Yes. He, he ate all five. All five? That's really good. Even with the hair, because that wasn't right out here. That was like probably my hair. I think that was his favorite burn. <sighs> I do have good taste in hair. Okay, then you know what? Look at that. Come on, Logan. We're giving him the golden bird. Okay, all right. We all come in as a line. Ooh. One million carat gold. It smells like coconut. That's the wood. Follow me. This guy's rich. This guy's rich. I will present to you the most expensive item on our dish. It is a golden double Big Mac, 1 million carat gold, weighing in at four pounds. This thing is not only extremely heavy, but also over $17,000. Enjoy. It's beautiful. Every bite is like eating a PlayStation 5, literally, because it's that expensive. Now enjoy. He's rich, everyone, look at this guy. Ever. How is it? Good. Is it good? Dumb good. Dumb good, right? What about smart good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Food Critic, I've been told for your next meal, it is required sunglasses. So we have two beautiful pairs here. The other's choice. Take the gold. Of course. Oh, there you go. Watch the hair. Oh, Thank you. Sorry. Perfect. Thank it is you. perfection. I think he likes the sunglasses. Right. Oh, right. Right. Oh, you almost ate every bite. Sir, one of the second last dishes of the night is uh, what we call a McFlurry bomb. Uh, gee, gee. And of course, wait for the uh, entire show to happen before eating. Interesting. Did you never get this at uh, no. McDonald's? I have not. Jake, it's starting to smell in here. Give it a second. Give it a second. <laughs> Everything was going so well. Get them all together, Ken. Okay. Of course, the McFlurry Bombs. All right guys, listen up. This is the grand finale. This is our last shot at making this the most- Okay, you gotta look up. He's running a restaurant's hard. No, we're giving him the chocolate covered McDonald's meal. We are going to give him the most intense experience ever. On behalf of the staff here at Le McDonald's, we would like to present to you the final meal. 15 karat gold chocolate covered McDonald's meal. And of course, with the spectacle comes sensation. Whoa! It's like you're dining in the clouds. Please eat this. And if you oh, feel lightheaded, sensational. Uh, leave the room immediately. Well, I mean, we brought you here for a reason, and that was to give us the official restaurant rating. After you try the food, the experience, this is everything that you will experience in our McDonald's restaurant. Of course, the location would be downtown prime real estate, but all in all, what do you say? Food, saying? experience, music, paintings, uh, and, and that photo you can take home. Well, um, I must say, after lots of consideration. Five stars, five stars. Oh! We built the world's biggest billionaire box for McDonald's with all the bells and whistles, but as many of you know, this was just a way to get Jake trapped in our box for McDonald's prison. Logan, let me out of here! Warden Logan's back, Jake is trapped in prison, and this time, he's not escaping. Little peek! Ah! <sighs> McLexa, lights on. Well, guess it's time to order my breakfast. This place is insane. I'm living inside a McDonald's. My dreams are coming true. Oh, good morning, Big ZB. Colin, to order my breakfast. Get your oh, breakfast oh, right here. Breakfast in bed. Wow. You need to get out of here. What? You need to get out of here. What do you mean get out of here? This is beautiful. No, nothing, nothing. This is my dream you film. McDonald's breakfast in bed in the billionaire McDonald's. And Logan gave us complimentary toilet paper from when we have to use the bathroom after. Which I definitely will have to do with McDonald's breakfast. We've got pancakes, fresh bacon. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh, hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Man, that's my food! My toilet paper! No, no, no! What's happening? Hey! There's been a robbery! There's been a robbery! Biggs, there's been a robbery in my room. They took my McDonald's breakfast. Hello? Oh, hey, Jake. Welcome to the McDonald's what? prison. Logan? What do you mean, McDonald's prison? Well, Jake, you see, last week when you were ignoring all my phone calls and I thought you may be abducted by aliens, it really bothered me. That's why you're in prison now. I ignoring your phone calls? Logan, I was sick. I couldn't get out of bed, let alone talk. I'm taking your favorite thing, McDonald's, and making it your worst nightmare. What kind of messed up person are you? Welcome to McDonald's prison, Jake. Even for you, this is slow. And I'm going to break out of here, and I am going to ruin whatever you love. So you hate the thing you love most in this life, hot yoga! Jake, you know as always with my prisons, there's always a way out. You just gotta play the McGames. The McGames? What are the McGames? Logan, let me out of here! Uh, uh. Alright, well, there's no way getting out of there. But Logan is right, every time he's made a prison before, he always likes to leave a breadcrumb trail on how to get out. I don't exactly know why, I think he just likes to see me suffer. Uh, uh, table won't budge. Phone? Hello? 911? Ah! Wait a second. I did kind of think it was a bit weird that I had an entire green wall inside my room. It's not very McDonald's at all. Guys, there's a room behind here. Yeah, this is it. I can just find. Whoa! Oh, that wall just literally fell on top of me. Ah. Ah. Oh! Whoa. Look who it is! What? It's Jakey Boy! Tuna, is that you? No! I go by beef in these parts. What do you mean beef? Beef is my name. No, 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 no. You're, you're a tuna. I no, no, look, look, look. We don't mention that name in this side of the world. You were here the last time I got locked up. That's right. If, if, if we if we work together, we might be able to beat the Mick Games. Yeah, I keep hearing about these Mick Games. All right, look, tuna, whatever this is, this is all part of Logan's plan. I'll work with you. I'll play your Mick Games. The quicker I get out of here, the quicker I can ruin Logan's life. Well, there's a thing dangling here. Should I pull it? Don't pull it, Jake! Why not? Well, uh... I'm gonna pull it. Okay, pull it. Okay. Ah! Ah! What happened? What happened? Pull it back! Put it back! Uh, what did happen? Oh no, I'm good. That was just my. That was just a cramp. Welcome, Jake, to the mic game. Be quiet. Be quiet. As you know, you are playing alongside your good old friend Beef, and together you can escape this prison, Jake. I am no monster. There's always a way out if you win the games. It was the voice. Logan, you are a monster. When you open up a dictionary and you search for monster, it says someone that takes away a man's pancakes. Also, don't call him Beef. His name's Tuna. It's Beef, but we'll digress. Tuna, come this way. Ah, it was a ripoff of all ripoffs. 10 out of 10. Why does it smell so bad? Don't smell. Use the ears. Oh. Listen. Here, come on. I think when I pulled this down, it loosened this door. I'm going to try the other one. Try the other one. Oh, that... That felt like, oh, it's getting given way. Hold on, there's one more here. There you go, that's got to stop the That's, that's, that's the door. That's the door and then now it's open. We're on the way. Yeah, but you go first because you, all right. uh, it's, all right. uh, you deserve it. You've been here the longest. It's a goodbye for now. Keep moving for it. Oh, you just hit another maze. Oh, I see an exit. Keep it's moving, dark, Tuna. Maybe we can skip all of Logan's games and just escape this place. They did it to some kind of server room. Oh. Yo, I do not think this is part of Logan's game, which means we can get out. Oh, we might be able to break through the wall. Wait, Jake! Jake, right here! This is the e ent exit. The exit yeah. or the entrance? Let's find out. Whoa! Ah, beef, watch out! What the heck is that? Take him! Take him, not no, me! No, not me! No, take me! No, 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 no! I have, I have 13 kids! Oh, no, 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 I no, can't! Beef, come this way! Ah, wait, 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 wait! Jakey, Jakey, Jakey! Beef, it's every man for himself! No, buddy! I'm sorry! Jake, Jake! Beef, I'm sorry! I'm song. sorry, Beef, I'm sorry! Oh, oh, no. Well, Beef's dead. He lived a very horrible life, to be honest with you, My so... Okay, so we're not escaping through that way. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 you took beef, you took beef. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. What's going on? Phil Biggs, I know that's you. You're probably Phil, because you're short. Okay, 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 you're not short. You're really tall and handsome and muscular. Biggs, you're dumb. Okay, what? No, 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 sir, you're smart, you're smart, you're like Einstein. Jake, I, I think don't egg them on. Let them, you know. Okay, what, it, what is this? Is this part of the game? <laughs> oh, hi there. 
<laughs> Welcome, Jake, to the very first Mick Games. Look, oh, Mick Games, I love a game. No, no, no. In this game, you will be working together to jump across the squares. If you land on an incorrect square, you will be punished by Nerf Blasters. Get to the end of the squares and receive a Mick Goody surprise. And of course, an invitation to the next game. Come on. All right. I got an idea. You go on the square, I tell you to. That way, I never get shot. Great plan. Go on that square. Oh. Ah! No, hold on, hot now. All right, well, let's see then. You're safe. I'm safe. <laughs> okay. Straight ahead. And I've chosen. You're safe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. That's two in a row. Hey. That's right. You know what? I'm feeling confident. I'll choose the next one. All right. Woo. Am I safe? Oh, 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 sorry. I was, I was expecting this. What? Okay, okay. Come here, put it down, put it down. Oh, Jonah, no. put the square down. It's beef, it's beef, but it's okay. Okay, there you go. Good work, guys. That was great accuracy. Tuna, I'm really close to them. Please tell me that there is an X on that square. They're revving up their motor. They're right next to me, Tuna. All right, nice to me. A, a nice look, a nice little peek. No! It's down, it's down. Papa Jake, you are almost through the game. There is a timer though. One minute left. Uh, pick one, pick one. 60 seconds. It's gotta be that one now. Can't believe in the jump. Now, now, before the get... Oh! <laughs> ah, Jakey! Sorry, Beef. It's every man for himself in these games. Jakey, you've got to be back! No, no, I played the game, I won the game. Can I leave? How many games are there? Whoa, oh, oh. Pokemon? What? Why the? Ah! Who are you? Oh, hello, my friend. Welcome to the. <laughs> ah, welcome to the second mixed Squid Games. Wait. Yeah, that is right. This is Squid Games. Oh, you are so unoriginal, Logan. You copied a show. What show? What are you talking about? Okay. What? What am I doing here? Well, no one really knows how to play uh, Pokemon. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know how to play Pokemon. You grab a deck of cards. You shuffle it, and the highest card wins. That's not how you play Pokemon at all. Inside your Happy Meal, you will find a pack of Pokemon cards that you will be using to compete. Challenger number one is the old man. <laughs> All right, you got your card. I have my card. All right, let's see what you got. <clears throat> what is it? You tell me. I cannot see. It's, it's an executor. All right, you know what? You're going down anyway. Ah, <sighs> what do I have? Oh, what do you have? Eevee. Wait, ten attack against your executor. Well, do I win? Uh, well, your executor only has an eight attack, so what? no, you you don't win against my ten. You what? lose. What? Yes. No. You are a loser. No. This cannot be. What, 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 wait, what are you going to do with him? I'm, I'm oh, just, oh, okay. I'm just, wait, 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 wait. I'm just an old man. Wait, oh, no, no, no. Don't hurt me. Look what you did. No. Oh, I sort of feel bad now. Then again, they would have taken me, and I wouldn't have been able to escape. And if I can't escape, then I can't get Logan back. So maybe it's for the better good. I don't know. What? What? what, what yeah, I won the game. Yeah, Mandering back in. Why is Jonah back? Hey, Jakey! Long time no see. Oh. I just got out of the sewer. <laughs> got shot, fell down the bridge, and... Okay, you know what? I, I don't care. Oh. Tuna, pick a card and let me pick a card. All right, all right, all right. A little Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Woo! Um, I'll tell you something. Low punny. The funny, you know what I'm talking? Low punny? 60 attack. Razor leaf. 50 attack. Oh, Jakey. Looks like I win this one. Yeah. Uh, Jake, you know what they say. Sometimes you win. Tuna, I was supposed to win. They're gonna, t no, no, no. Let the ammo. Whoa, no, 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 no. Congratulations, Jake, for making it this far in the McGames. Please join us for a beautiful one course meal in the dining hall. I just wanna go home. I don't want any more McDonald's. Did you hear that? When the voice talks, things happen. You're not wrong, Tuna. Oh, here they come. Oh, well, that's a finger pointing in a direction. Fast one, pull this ball, attack! Oh, no, no! Ah! 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 Okay! Ah! Oh, I remember this place. I was here before. Guys, I'm telling you, if this was Logan's face, I would totally... What would you do for that? Uh, okay. A little bit of that. Yeah, that, that might work. The McDonald's games are going wonderfully, and it's time for Jake's dinner. We're about to make it. Dinner 
for two is served, my friend. No, no, please, no more. We have chicken nuggets, burgers, all the fries you could ever want. It's okay, Jake. Uh, we just imagined there are tomatoes. One tomato. <laughs> Two tomatoes. Here we go. What? what you... Mama's pizza. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jake, I'm crying. I can't stop crying. I don't want McDonald's anymore, too. I don't want to go home. Here, water. That's not water. It's Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can see the future and feel the past all in one. That's the cholesterol. Don't forget dessert. No, 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 no. Please, please. Oh, for the love. Oh, and it's liquidy. Why is it liquidy? Oh. It's a McFlurry, your favorite. Yeah, but liquidy McFlurry. Just drink it. I bet you it's salty. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 I'll come with you. I'll, I'll come peacefully. I'll come peacefully. Yes, very peaceful. There's no path to peace. Peace is the path. Logan told me that once. Tuna, you okay? Oh yeah, I'm good. I was just on the phone with the operator. You really took one for the team there, Tuna. I appreciate that. I almost felt a little bit of respect for you there. Well, I guess we're back in here. At least it's nighttime and Logan can't mess with me in my dreams, I think. Uh, Young man, Jakey boy. What, Tuna? Look what I have. said, do not wake me, please. Jakey, in my pocket this entire time. Just in case of good emergencies, I I, I, I have a, a, a knife sickle. It's a box cutter. It won't work on the door, it's reinforced, but there might be a way we can get out of here. We can do this, we can do this, let's think. Show me your room. Oh, this is the digs. It's tight in here. I have a good feeling about this, Jake. Here. There you go. This isn't reinforced. We can go through here. We can? Just watch the door. Make sure no one comes in. The problem is once we get out of here, I don't know if the rest of the box court's reinforced. If it is, we won't be able to get out without a key. A key? Hmm. Boom! What is, what is that? It's the gaming room. The gaming room? Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze in here. All right. I'm not exactly that thin and I've been eating McDonald's, so this might not look pretty. It's okay. All right, Jake. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good form on this. Yeah, fantastic form. Tuna. Look at that. Come on, follow me. Follow you, you. I don't even know how you got through that hole. I left the door open perfect, right into the ball pit. Oh, look at me. <laughs> here we go. the next game, Phil. They're making something. Breakfast? Lunch? Dinner? Pickles. Pickles? Why? No, please, not the jar. No. Logan, don't you think this is a little bit overboard? It's gonna be the next game. <sighs> Whatever they're doing, it's not good. We need to get out of here. We need to get out. <coughs> Tuna, what did you just do? I, uh, oh, no, 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 Trina, get back to her now. No, 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 no. Back to the hole, back to the hole. That was definitely way too close. I don't know what they're doing in there, but whatever it is, we're gonna have to plan our escape tomorrow. There's no sense in trying again tonight. McLexa, can you turn off my light? No. Okay, guess we're sleeping with the lights on. She's kind of McMean. Tuna, go to bed. Good morning! Good morning, my McInmates! Oh, hi. Hello. Hey, Beef? Jake? Oh. Well, for this morning's breakfast, you guessed it, we got more McDonald's, but it's a game. What kind of game? What is that? This is breakfast. A cookie? Made it myself last night. Made from the finest ingredients, McDonald's. Yours looks nice. My, Jakey, my, my cookie's in three. Why are you eating it? You're not playing the game. This is a game. This is actually really good. It's like no other McDonald's I've ever had before. Jake, you just ate the game. We may hate the game. This is ridiculous. Now I need to come up with a new game. Watch these two. When do we get to leave? We've beaten like six games already. I didn't even get to put it in spicy habanero. You know that actually would have tasted good. Spicy habanero would have been good. Sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. I like it. I like it. Jakey, 
ever, did I ever tell you about my whole past life? No, but tell me. You know when you have mel a melon and you take the little balls out of the melon and mm -hmm. you put it on a skewer? Keep telling me. I about was it. the person who used to cut the little balls really? and I put them on the skewer. Because I was just thinking then, the other uh, day about melons and balls and skewers, and I was thinking, yeah. get habanero! Ball! Yeah. Go, 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 that's right, Logan! <laughs> go, 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 keep going, keep going. Uh, oh, Tuna! What are you doing? Do that thing with your face you said you'd do to Logan. That's right! What? Pokemon cards! No, no. Jeez! Oh. No, Tuna! Attack! <laughs> what is that? What? Let's go! Wait, we can't. What do we do? We're locked! There's no exit! It's just a kitchen! There is an exit. It's behind you, but it needs a fingerprint. What? And he's got a finger. Well, he does have a finger, but we don't have his print! Yeah, but we got a kitchen. And in that McDonald's kitchen, there's McDonald's cheese. I think I know where you're going with this. Yep. McDonald's cheese is good for a lot of things. Eating, most importantly, fingerprint getting. Oh, McJank with a McCheese! Be careful with it, be careful with it. It worked! I heard the ding! The bridge! Janky boy, the bridge! It's on its way down! Hold on, Tuna. Wait, 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 what are you what are you doing? There's a final door on the outside. We're gonna need a key. What? The rest of cheese is good for almost everything. Yeah? The bridge is here, Jake! We have to make moves! I just cut the cheese. You just cut it! It's a cheese key. Oh cheese. Come on, let's go. Ah. Okay. Alright. Come on, Tuna! Go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Huh? Ah. Jump! Ah. Ah. Okay. Use that key. Use that key, cheese, cheese key. It worked! Yeah. Hey. Come on, Toodle, let's get out of here! The sun, it's real! We did it, buddy! We did it again! <laughs> we escaped, Jakey boy! And this time, I'm getting Logan back. I said I'd get him back before, but this, this time he's gone too far. He took something personal from me, Tuna. Yes, I know. This time, Logan's going to be in a lot of pain.